I am Top Castleberry Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country, and we're out at 1168 Laura Street, Castleberry, Florida, 32707. If you're thinking about this house at 1168 Laurel, Laura Street, we're looking to buy a home here in Castleberry. I want you to call me. I've been listing and selling property every day, full time, for 31 years, right here in Castleberry. Why are we walking away from the home? Well, if you look at the pictures online, you already have seen those. So the question this one wants to answer is what's it like to really live here? Sometimes just getting a feel for the neighborhood. Obviously, those are manufactured homes across the street. Give you a feel for life on Laura here. This property is actually 0.56 acres. So it's a pretty big lot. Three bedrooms, two baths, $220,000. It's only been on the market 13 days as of today. We've got that long driveway in. 1,248 square feet, built in 1990. Taxes last year, 2159, that's without homestead. So obviously this has been a rental property. Your taxes might be lower if you buy it and are planning to live here. So it doesn't say in the listing whether it's on a septic or city water. Hard to tell. Let's say it's city water for now. It might be on septic. If you're worried about drainage, obviously someone was worried about drainage at one point. Um, that looks like the city there. So I would say you've probably got really good drainage here. You can see everything kind of slopes down to there. Property does feel like a rental. Got the overgrown legustrums there. Got the roof, which is uh, apparently in not that great a condition. It doesn't say how old it is in the listing. And we've got things that just say, eh, this was probably rented out at one point. So the AC definitely looks a little on the older side. Miscellaneous car parts. And the reason to live here is you want a big, big 0.56 acre lot. And this is it. Again, some signs that place hasn't received exactly the tender loving care. That one would hope. Need some exterior paint. Got the shed in the back. House was built in 1990. Place that looks like it was built in 1962. Definitely older. This is what you want. Buy a riding lawnmower for sure. Or have a child who is a slave who can push for two hours a day to mow all this. Got a little depression here. I would say this was once an above ground pool. They removed. You can definitely see that. That reminds me, it looks like an above ground pool. It just looks like some dirt needs to be brought in there if you don't want a fire pit. Not a roofer. You look at the roof and you say, huh, look at those shingles. They're repaired, chimney hasn't been painted, shingles are old, curling. Chances are the roof could use to be looked at. Again, here in the backyard with the red shouldered hawk in the distance. That's a well pump. 
that's something that's hanging probably related to the well pump so we have some exciting issues here deck is really nice get something with a nice little umbrella out here this is the good part the attraction about the house what a nice yard Let's go inside. Step inside from the back. Welcome home. For some inexplicable reason, we've got the power off. So it's a little dark. So I'm at the front door entrance, two car garage, overgrown legustrum. Definitely needs to be removed. And we walk in. So the literal elephant or kitchen in the room is there's no kitchen. There's kind of a kitchen. Okay, you've got cabinets, so that's a good start. You've got an oven. You've got no cabinets up here. This is where the refrigerator would go, apparently. This is where the dishwasher would go. I don't see anything where it's wired, electrical or plumbing for that, so it's probably actually never been there. This is definitely the need of a breakfast bar. Just the way this is designed to not have a breakfast bar here is as basic as it gets. We've got the vinyl flooring. Doesn't have the quarter round trim. And that definitely needs to be trimmed out somehow. And it's not. So the big issue, the biggest issue is if you live here, you don't need an oven. There is no oven. What are you gonna do? You're gonna plug something in, put it on the counter here. But the only way to get an oven is to redo and replace these cabinets. Especially because you probably won't build with cabinets that match this. So to get matching cabinets, if you're going to redo the cabinets, you're probably going to end up redoing the flooring because it's not in the best shape anyway. And if you redo the flooring there, where do you stop? Will you stop there at the carpet? But we'll probably, I'm going to stop it at the hall or something. Again, just looking at that and you say, huh, I wonder what the age of the AC is. Three bedrooms, two baths. That definitely sounds good. Rooms are not big, but not small. As long as you don't want closet doors, you can put them in. Bedroom number three. I love the line, a real estate trainer. Back 30 years ago, I was in real estate. I remember there, and he would say, he'd look at stuff like that and say, huh, I wonder if they did that themselves. And I think that almost every day, you look at the way that was finished up. I wonder if they did that themselves. The answer is yes. Again, pretty nice size room. This room looks a little older. Interesting. Over to the master bedroom. Got that commercial grade carpet. It's definitely designed for wear. Using the phone light here. Because there's no power. This is like the horror scene where you pan up and <laughs> 
<laughs> Interesting. And to complete the horror scene, we say, what's behind the door? Our viewers say, no, don't open the door. It's dark. Actually, this is definitely where the monster would be. Kind of like going down into the basement, almost. Don't go, don't go. You say, well, look at those water stains. I wonder if that's been leaking any. How old is that? As old as it comes, I'd say 1990. Definitely got some possibility here. You can turn it into things. Interior, exterior painting, new kitchen, appliances, new, of course, new roof. Probably do some new flooring, probably do new carpeting, new ceiling fans. If you're gonna do all that, you're gonna put some blinds in. You're gonna haul some dirt in, fill that up, put some sod down, fix the well pump. Almost for sure you're going to be replacing the AC because even if it's working good, it's definitely at the end of its life just by looking at it. So other than that, you are good to go. If you're looking for a house like this, you want me to check it out for you if you're out of the area. Or if you want me to find one for you before it gets a chance to sell, call me. Let me help you too. There's somebody else here to see it right now.